Okay, uh, welcome everyone. It's uh, nine o'clock, so let's uh, get started. Uh, this is uh, the opening presentations of the 2020 JSOL. It's uh, amazing how long we've been running these things. These workshops started back in 1995 when Fred Jelinek came to Hopkins as the director of uh, the Center for Language and Speech Processing, and we've run them nonstop since then. And we started off small, but they've become an institution of their own. And uh, a lot of good things have come out of these. It's a real community effort now. A lot of people participate in organizing and supporting it and so on and so forth. And uh, so it's a real pleasure to welcome all of you to the 26th, I think, edition of this workshop, if I'm doing the calculation right. So it's 25 plus years now, this is 26 years. Right, so this uh, current uh, workshop, we started planning it way back in September. And I know with all this uh, COVID-19 pandemic and going on, this sounds like another era. It sounds like it was the previous century or something. But uh, we sent out a call for proposals in September and uh, we asked people to submit ideas and we, we wanted to have the ideas come in by the end of October and have a planning meeting sometime in November. And it was an open call like we always do. And uh, we asked for proposals in speech technology, NLP, multimodal uh, systems, dialogue and natural language understanding and so on. And in addition to sending the call out broadly, we also usually uh, like, you know, give a, a call our friends and colleagues and ask them to propose things. And so we did all that. And the net result of that was that uh, we got uh, uh, we got uh, uh, a fair number of proposals. We had 11 proposals that people wrote and uh, these were quite uh, well considered. One of them was a little bit unsuitable to do in a workshop setting. So we declined that, but we invited all the others uh, to a planning meeting. And this was a two day meeting that was held uh, uh, from uh, uh, November 22nd to 24th. Uh, and uh, basically the nine proposers came and then we had a whole number of other people. So we had 33 researchers total uh, sitting there and working together. And uh, we had 17 from academia, 15 from industry, one from government. So this is one of the interesting trends the workshop has seen since its inception back in 1995 to today, that the proportion of academics has gone down, but not because it's a bad thing. It's just because industry has become much more interested in these technologies. And there's a lot more active industry involvement uh, in the planning of the workshop. And in fact, you'll see later in supporting it. So, uh, at the meeting, it lasted two days, and there's a little joke for those who do programming. This sounds like an infinite loop. Yes, we the proposals were presented, critiqued, revised, and then people revised them and presented them again. They were critiqued again, and uh, we started six o'clock on Friday evening, worked all the way through nonstop till Sunday noon, and then we had a uh, the same people who were reviewing it also acted as a, a peer review uh, panelists, like an NSF panel, if you will. And they voted on the proposals, we rank ordered them. <clears throat> and uh, we selected three proposals to pursue in JSOL 2020. So that was the result of that extensive meeting, uh, or intensive meeting rather, in November. Right? Uh, so the projects that we want to have this year, uh, the first one was a speech recognition and diarization for unsegmented multi-talker recordings with speaker overlaps. Uh, just think of this as uh, trying to do speech recognition in a real multi-speaker environment and real involves all the other things. The recording is far field, it doesn't come segmented and so on. And the people at the planning meeting who sort of helped craft this were Joe, Nico, I'm sorry, Nico should be with 1K, uh, Jinyu, Dimitri, and they focused, like I said, on multi-party conversations. Uh, the second proposal, which was also pretty strong and very much liked by people, was on the chat or dialogue modeling and evaluation. And this proposal had two aspects to it. One is the more classical uh, spoken dialogue systems, which are goal-oriented. And there the intention is to figure out uh, whether uh, you can do something end-to-end -end without, you know, for example, just recognize the intent of the speaker from a dialogue term. 
And the other aspect was dialogues are pretty tricky to evaluate anyway, but non-goal oriented dialogues like chats are even harder to evaluate. So can we somehow focus on dialogue modeling and evaluation? And the people who brought this team together were Alex Vidniki, Lazaros, Polimnakos, Rahul Gupta, and Jao Sirlok. Uh, Jao, sorry, I couldn't get the twiddle in the, uh, in the right place. Uh, and finally, the third team, uh, visual lang language embeddings. And this is in the tradition of JSOL. Uh, we don't just do speech and language. We also looked at, uh, uh, like, you know, we look at associated techniques and technologies. Computer vision, for example, shares a lot with uh, speech and language in terms of algorithms and techniques and how they were deep learning. So uh, Marek and uh, Murat had very similar proposals. Murat wanted to do something closer to speech and language, which is sign language recognition. And Marek had been working on hand pose estimation and their group had done very well in the European challenges. And so uh, they, they got together and proposed a team on visual language embeddings. They wanted to figure out if you could create language embeddings just a little bit uh, like BERT or wave to vec or whatever you have, which is to do with visual language in particular sign language. So this is what our plan was and this is what we were planning to do. This was set up in November, December and we started doing our planning things. And then came this uh, spiky blob. Uh, you all recognize this picture. Uh, hopefully I'm getting a muted laugh out of you because I know this is serious, but at the same time, life happens. And if you wanna know about this, <coughs> the, this picture was actually created by uh, artists at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And it's actually called, called the beauty shot of the coronavirus. And this disrupted all our plans back in March. And we weren't sure what to do for a while. So between March 15 and April 15, we weren't even sure we were gonna have the workshop. We just laid back and said, let's figure out how to do this right. And then towards the uh, second half of April, uh, we said, no, let's, let's see if we can do this remotely because all this preparation has gone into it and you'll hear about it from the teams shortly. And so uh, this is what we did. Uh, we decided we'll run JSOL 2020 as a six week uh, virtual workshop. And uh, so we are starting today. Uh, we normally have a two week summer school to prepare the undergraduates for the workshop at this point. Uh, since we're not having undergraduates, we decided we'll forego that part. And then uh, we figured we'll continue with the main research part. So we start today with this opening presentation. We'll work hard for six weeks. And then on July 31st, we'll have a closing presentation. So this will give us a sense of focus and try to get uh, the team members to make progress on these problems that they've been all very excited to work on. Uh, what we'll do though is uh, two of the teams, the one on uh, speech recognition and diarization and the one on chat and dialogue modeling and evaluation, these two teams felt ready and they felt they were getting ready to go and they didn't want to be stopped. So these two teams are going to go full thrust through the summer. And I don't expect you to read the tiny font over here. Uh, you'll hear more about who the team members are and what their projects are about and so on and so forth shortly. And the third team, which is on visual language embeddings, they realize that because it's a relatively new topic, they need a lot more prep time anyway, which they would have done perhaps if they had gotten together a few times over the spring. But uh, since their preparations are a little bit uh, harder than the other two teams, they're gonna prepare through the year and we will have them back in 2021 as a JSOL team. So that is uh, Murat and Marek's uh, team on uh, visual language embeddings. Uh, but uh, Joe's team on speech recognition and Alex's team on dialogue modeling are gonna go full steam. Uh, so these uh, screenshots I'm showing you, by the way, this as well as the previous one, these are off the workshop website. So hopefully you all have found it. It has been in various emails. That's probably how you got the uh, link to join the uh, uh, webinar today. So keep an eye on these web pages because these web pages will be updated through the summer to tell you what's going on. And in particular, each of the team's web pages has a project description, which was written a while ago, but then it also has team presentations and collaboration links. So let me just go to one of them. This is Alex's team's collaboration page. So here we see a couple of links right now and more will be added here as we go. So just so to think about how will this collaboration happen, uh, there are team labs and we'll call them labs, but in, in fact, they're virtual labs. They're Zoom rooms which are on 24 seven. 
And if you click on that dialogue theme lab, it'll take you there. Now, of course, these are labs, so we don't want people crashing into it all the time. They're protected by a password. And so if uh, you're a team member, your team leader will give it to you. And if you're not a team member, but you want to join the team, just write to the team members and they will let you in. And that way, you know, people can come and meet with team members and work with them. Uh, through the workshop, just like we would do in a regular workshop if we were here in Baltimore, we will have seminars. We'll announce them a week ahead. Uh, they will all be remote and we have a seminar room. So when that happens, the seminar room will be made open to the public and everybody can join in these external seminars. If the teams want to do an internal seminar, that's also okay. In fact, we encourage team members to talk to each other and even ask members from the other team to come and listen to your seminars. So when that happens, we have a seminar room for that. Again, it's a 24 seven Zoom room. And finally, there's a conference room. So if uh, there are too many people talking in your team lab, and you want a quieter place to go away. So again, for team members, there's a conference room, you can retreat to that. And then uh, some of the workshop organizers and the team leaders, we might have our weekly team meetings in the conference room. So just imagine that this is a virtual uh, workshop space where we each lab, each team has a lab, there's a shared seminar room, and there's a shared conference room. So this is how we think uh, we will be able to make this workshop happen. And uh, of course, uh, like, you know, we need a lot of other support, even if we're not physically there in Baltimore. So one of the big things we need is computing. And we've managed to get, of course, a little bit of support for some of the administrative things. And we've managed to get support from Amazon and Microsoft and Google for this workshop. So these have been steadfast supporters of JSOL for many, many years now. So again, this is a moment to thank them all. So this is pretty much uh, all I wanted to say regarding uh, our road to this. So let me just go back really quickly to the very first slide and quickly go over the rules for the rest of the day. So we are at this point now where I have finished my uh, road to JSOL presentation. After that, we will have uh, Joe Chen presenting the uh, speech recognition team's plans and then a Q and A with some of the senior members of the team. Then Alex Rudniki will present the dialogue modeling and evaluation team's plan and then Q&A with some of the audience members from Lazaros. And then Najim and I will close up. Uh, audience questions are welcome. So if you need to ask something, find the participants pane in your Zoom webinar and click the raise hand sign and I or Najim or someone will see your hand raised. And we'll actually permit you to speak so that uh, you don't have to worry about typing in a question. Uh, you can also use the Q&A for writing a question if you like. And when you do ask a question verbally, you can either ask it with your name visible or you can ask it uh, anonymously. Of course, if you speak, we'll have to enable you, so we'll need to know who you are. So please feel free to raise your hand and uh, we will give you the microphone, so to speak, so that you can ask your question directly to the presenters or the panelists. And uh, when you're done with your question, we'll mute you back and uh, that way the next person who wants to ask the question can continue. Uh, the panelists and the presenters, we've already discussed this internally. We'll all keep our microphones and cameras turned off when we're not speaking so that the spotlight can remain on the speaker. In the Q&A, of course, all the uh, participants and the team members who are answering questions will be visible to you. So they should all turn on their microphones and cameras. And last but not the least, this whole event will be recorded, uh, including the audience questions. I know that most of you don't mind, but if you had any reservations about being recorded, uh, you're welcome to participate as an anonymous uh, participant and uh, not be visible or not be heard. Right. Thank you. So any questions from anyone before we proceed to the next step? Okay, I see no hands raised. Okay, all right. So in that case, uh, let me move on and ask uh, uh, Joe Chen to come along. Uh, Joe, if you please uh, turn on your mic and... Uh, uh, okay, and uh, so Joe is leading the uh, team on uh, speech recognition and diarization, uh, Joe is with Microsoft and uh, he has put together a beautiful team and he'll tell you more about it. So Joe, go ahead, start sharing your screen. And, uh, uh, and and get going. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 